I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I come from 20 years in the advertising in, uh, industry. I started out as a graphic designer, but was always fascinated by video. Uh, so I slow, slowly transitioned into um, TV commercial director. And for the past 10 years or so, I directed like almost 100 TV commercials for brands like Adidas, uh, Procter & Gamble, Nestle Foods, and many, many others. Um, I just quickly previewed you a few of those, which are, are of course not AI generated, thank you. But uh, let's go into the AI area right now. So um, around August last year, I saw the insane progress that generative AI videos were, were making. And uh, I started playing around with AI and created those AI videos and just put them on Twitter. And quickly after I was connect, uh, contacted by Pika and joined the company. Now, going back a little bit, Pika was founded by two of my colleagues, Demi Gu and Chanlin Meng, who dropped out of Stanford to create an easy-to-use AI video generator. And uh, our mission is to give everyone the power to create uh, and edit high-quality videos by utilizing the power of AI. So we are basically a consumer product. Uh, since last April, when they founded the company, about a million users have tried Pika already, and it's now being used to create millions of new videos each week. And uh, the concept of our product is very, very simple. If you can type it, uh, we can visualize it for you. And on that note, uh, last November, we officially launched our website, which is called which is uh, Pika.art. And I'd like to show you that a launch video that I created back in uh, October. And it showcases many of our features in like under a minute and it's pretty fast, so don't blink. All right. Thank you, guys. I'm going to preview a ton of more videos during this presentation. So uh, this is Pika.art. This is our website. As you can see, there's like a prompt box at the bottom if you want to start creating videos. And the top is like a gallery of everything you created so far. So you can always go back to something that you created and iterate on it or just use it as a base to create something entirely new. Um, we have three ways to create videos, and the first one is text-to-video, the second one is image-to-video, and the third one is video-to-video. -video. So what's text-to-video in the most basic uh, definition of it? It's imagine typing something like 3D rendering, a raccoon typing on a laptop. Our model will think for like a minute, and then it will give you this. Now, a personal confession, I am obsessed with raccoons, so you will be seeing a few more of those today. Let's try something a little bit more imaginative. A cinematic shot, dolly in on a stylish Japanese girl with dreads standing in a pink desert. Again, our model will think for less than a minute, and then it will shoot out this beautiful clip. Uh, if you notice, I added the style of the of the video i want our model to create and it responds according to that so again if i type anime style a beautiful pond in the middle of an urban jungle ruins makoto shinkai i will get exactly that and then makoto shinkai is an anime director known for this distinctive style something that i learned while working on this um 
Now, what can you do with all those clips? Uh, I, I like to show you two demonstrations. The first one is a music video that me and another one of my colleagues, Jesse, created a few months ago when we tested that anime model. So we used that style as, uh, as a reference, and we crafted this very abstract story about a red-haired girl and her ginger cat going through the different seasons of the year. Well, let's watch it. So uh, yeah, everything you just saw was created basically simply by typing. You could wait with the clapping because I would just show another one in a second, but I appreciate it. Uh, so it was created simply by typing. This means we generated uh, numerous clips just by describing in a text what we want to see in each one. And then we quickly arranged those on a timeline. We added the music, some sound effects, and then in j less than a day, this music video was ready. Uh, another another style that our model generates pretty well is 3D animation, and uh, now I'm going to show you another one, just that style. It's basically like a bunch of clips. Um, yeah, now, uh, I assume, I assume that most of you are already familiar with image generators and like me journey and all those, I want to demonstrate how you can seamlessly blend that familiar workflow with Pika, uh, specifically by using our image to video. So for example, this is an image I created with an image generator and we can upload that image to Pika and just provide a description of the image and how we want it to be animated. So for instance, uh, a girl waking up underwater, water movement, small bubbles, then again, it will think for like less than a minute and, and will generate this beautiful three second clip. So again, after generating a series of those three second clip from a storyboard uh, you might already create it, you can piece together a complete video. So uh, I'm gonna show you another promotional video I did for Pika back in October using this exact workflow. This is before we launched the website. We were still in beta mode and we were just operating on Discord. But uh, yeah, let's watch it.
Thank you. So, a lot of people are not aware, but a pika is a small mountain dwelling mammal native to Asia and North America with short limbs, a very round body, and even cow of fur and no external tail. So that wasn't a hamster or a rabbit. That was a pika in that video. So I told you a little bit about my background as a TV commercial director. And about a year and a half ago, I directed an international uh, TV campaign for a beauty brand called Saban. And it was this big production. It took over a month and a half to create. It cost around $80,000. There was a large crew of people, very highly talented individuals, and it was all shot uh, using high-speed phantom cameras. And just for the experiment of it, I kind of wanted to see if I could recreate the same commercial simply by using uh, Pika and typing on my computer without showing uh, Pika like any frame for the original commercial. So basically just describing it shot by shot and trying to recreate it. So I want to, again, show you uh, the AI generated result and then in the end, like kind of a side-by-side -side comparison with the original uh, TV campaign. All right, that's one. That was the AI generator. Now let's watch the both. On the left is the original one. Yeah. So you, as you can see, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Uh, as you can see, there's, uh, there is a difference, of course, between the two. And I couldn't have created the, the AI generated one without going all the creative process and the help of ev everyone who was involved in that creation. So basically, a lot of the work was done on the first one, but it, it, is, it was uh, possible to create that AI generated results in terms of static and everything. And it was, again, I just want to mention like the AI generated version never saw the original one so it was all described um the only shot where i did use existing material was the the last product shot and what i did i just took an image from the brand's instagram page and then i kind of animated with with pika uh because you can't really describe this exact product this exact bottle this exact labeling so that was a little bit custom so i i kind of told you about text to video, image to video. The last one, which I will really talk about briefly is video to video. You saw it in the launch video. It was the part with the uh, galloping horse part that changed for styles. So again, you can upload any kind of video or create any kind of video and then kind of just change the descriptions of what you want to see. And it will kind of save the same composition, the same motion, but it will remake the, the whole video, but keep those same characters. So you can also upload uh, upload a video like in a selfie shot or whatever and then tell it to change it and it will do something probably pretty freaky. Two features that I want to show you that are pretty much exclusive to Pika uh, in the video world are the first one is uh, expand canvas. And so like up until today, if you had, for example, a 16 by 9 video, and you wanted to use it for, let's say, a vertical video for TikTok or Instagram stories or whatever, like a 9 by 16 you would have to crop this and then scale it up. And that kind of made it challenging to find like this perfect composition. And it often resulted in loss of quality because you have to scale it up a lot, right? 
So with expand uh, canvas, you can now expand the edges of those videos and Pika will magically fill those empty spaces for you. So this will turn into that, like by the magic of AI. Um, and I can take that clip and then I can kind of tell it, you know what? I want it to be back 16 by nine, but keep that nice perspective and just give me more of the background. And this will turn it to that. So like almost 70% of what we see right now around that original shot was created just by expanding. So we started with this pretty great looking raccoon in a medium shot. And we ended with, with, with this extreme long shot and it saved the camera motion. It saved all the, the lighting and it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So just in terms of use cases, you can easily resize an asset for your client or for any social meet. Uh, let's consider a scenario where you don't just want to expand the canvas, but you also want like to add another object in that expanded space. Um, you can achieve that by, by combining prompts when you expand. And I will just show you a brief demonstration of that feature. And also there's like this small video to video in the end. So pay attention. So let's spin. But let's say we want to, uh, let's say, add a horse in, in that space. We got a horse. And then you want to change it to a different style. So what's cool about it is just you, you can keep iterating on the same video and that just made so many variations of the same thing. And uh, continuing on that thought, the, the, the next feature I want to show you is really, I think we were the first one to release that. It's pretty groundbreaking and we call it Modify Region. And the, the reason this one is, is pretty groundbreaking is because up until now, while you were working with that video generation, it was always somewhat of a gamble. So what I mean is you would generate a video by typing in a text prompt and let's say everything is perfect in that shot, right? But, but one thing you kind of want to change. Usually what you will do is you go back to the prompt, you reprompt it, and then we get, you get something completely new. So maybe that one thing that you want to change is now okay, but something else got screwy. So um, we've addressed that exact issue with this feature. So for instance, uh, here I generated a raccoon standing on a cliff. Beautiful raccoon. And I like the composition of the shot. I like the camera angle. I think the cliff looks great, but I do want to change that raccoon for some insane reason. So basically, I would just simply select it with a selection box and I will type something else, let's say like a 3D animated cat. Um, I don't know why, but that's what I decided. And you will get this. So also like it doesn't, it, it, it does a great job of like mixing those styles together. So the original shot was kind of cinematic or nature oriented and this is just something like 3d and look at the composition the, the lighting everything just match up perfectly um let me show just a few more examples of this you can also upload a photo or just take a stock footage photo uh video sorry and then iterate on it and here is just changing some dishes here I took uh, like stock footage from Art Grid and just made it like Christmas oriented. So I added like a couple of Christmas trees and a Christmas sweater. And this is I took that raccoon and then changed just just his face to a to a dog, and I got this weird looking but cute hybrid dog raccoon. Uh, and I love that concept because if you you can see where I connected it, but but it's it's basically a raccoon with a dog's head. Let's play it again because it's so cute. All right. Uh, another example I want to show you is not by me. It's by my friend, a very talented director from Berlin named Martin Harlan. Uh, we took that feature and tried it for the first time. And we went out with, I think, with his girlfriend uh, in a very cold day in Berlin and just played around with it. And this is what he came up with. <laughs> Um, 
brilliant guy. You know, go follow him on Twitter or wherever because I, I love this guy. Um, yeah, so basically, that's this is what we achieved in, the, in less than a year in in the AI business. Uh, in 2024, we are planning to have a better model, longer base generations, higher best resolutions. And before we finish off, I just want to show you this latest thing that we released yesterday morning, uh, which again, I think we're the first AI video platform to release, uh, which gives you the ability to make your generations talk. So if you had a generation that was silent up until now, you can upload uh, a voice file, like an audio file, or even generate like uh, we have 11 labs integrated into our website. So you can just type in whatever you want. Uh, choose one of the 46 voices that 11 labs has to offer and then it will make it talk and i will just show you this demo and then we can do some q a oh my god i'll be damned is this real pika now supports lip sync and it is truly spectacular wait hold up hold up hold up these things can talk for real what kind of dark sorcery is this? Mon Dieu, j'entends une voix. Well, I'm officially speechless. Giddy up. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. I think if you don't define a style, it will do a good job. But if you if you do, if you want a different style, then you you can just define it. Cause, so let's say I said a three D. This I so I would just I I think either don't define any style or define the style that you want. So if you want the same style, and let's say you upload from Shutterstock uh, a photorealistic image, I would just add photorealistic style. Or if it's like a nature documentary, I would say nature documentary style. And if it's like a three D rendering, then three D rendering style, and so on, and so on. <music> If you ever manage to create the same thing twice, show it to me because that would be incredible. There's there's this thing called random seed and it, it just make it impossible to create it unless you give it exactly the same random seed. And that random seed is like a, I don't know, like a 14 digits number. So you will have to enter exactly the same prompt, the same order of words, the same order of characters with that exact uh, code and only then you will get this exactly the same video. On a website, um, there is actually a retry button. So let's say you, you typed a woman, a woman walking in the rain. It will generate this, but then you can do click retry. And retry will give you, again, a woman walking in the rain, hopefully, but completely different. And you cl can click the retry button like 50 times until you find something that you like. And, and to be honest, this is part of the process because... A lot, of this, a lot of this time, it's not exactly what you wanted, right? So I always, before I even see what I get, I will click retry like three or four times, and then, I, then I, you can pick one of those five options. But getting exactly the same thing twice without using that code and that exact number, uh, exact uh, order of characters is impossible. <laughs> Yeah, consistency is something that's being asked a lot. It, it's not easy to create, to have consistency. What I usually do is I try to keep some consistency in the text prompt that I use. Or sometimes I use an image generator. And when you use an image generator, the whole statics comes from that image generator. So if you, get, if you put in a few uh, consistent images, you will eventually end up with a consistent video. So there are a few workarounds for that as well. Yeah. <music> A video that was created inside the platform does work a lot better than uploaded videos, but I did do a lot of experiment with uh, uploaded videos from outside. Thank you very much, guys. It was a pleasure talking to you. Mm -hmm.